Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about 2016 Renault. You're probably familiar with this Renault because they come back after, came back after 24 hours. They picked it up and someone obviously missed the pin and smashed the back end, back of the panel. So we're going to be replacing all this panel. As you can see, all this is creased there, even that bit there. We already stripped it all inside because this panel will come the whole lot as it is. This panel comes with the frames, everything off. So I'm gonna start cutting all this sealer seam off. There's really lots of spot welds. And we're gonna get this panel off and stick the new one in. So let's do it. Right guys, I drilled it all out, uh, down there, down the side, down the bottom, and I cut across the top, because that uh, back panel is actually bonded to the roof, and as soon as I take this panel off, I'll be able to take it off, but inside here, I already put some kind of support post, which I made on the previous jobs, of this kind of jobs, because I did one before, put a new panel in, and obviously that as soon as you take this back panel in all the whole of the back of the cab will be supported by the floor flat so that will probably collapse down a bit <coughs> and that's what i did i'm pretty much ready still going to cut a bit there cut, cut a bit across there then i take this panel off then i probably peel this section off because that's obviously that is the back panel bonded to this and a couple of spot welds down the back so i'm pretty much ready it was a bit uh, glue and uh, not glue seam sealer down the bottom there but i've drilled it all out and cut the bit of a seam sealer as you can see the corners are already already done free and i would probably just yeah come in i'll probably just bring big hammer tap tap it there and split it all apart and Take, take this off, so let's do it. Yeah. 
Okay guys, back panel is off. Uh, basically what I did, you see me tapping with the hammer this side, I tapped a few times on this side, but I didn't want to go. And I have to like hit it up, hit it up in that corner because there was plenty, there was plenty of this kind of uh, on the sail, not on the sail. Uh, same sailor, it was this kind of same sailor holding it on. So I have to like hit it up from outside, just like big lump inside there, I didn't want it. They don't want to cut it off because it takes ages. So I hit it up, that's why it had, it had a bit of a smoky inside. But I tapped a few times after that and it comes off perfectly. So now what I'm going to do is I need to dress. I already sanded all the way around and just took this trim uh, panel off, which is lying down, the, down there. Basically, it had the one spot weld holding it on and the body glue, body glue down there, one spot, spot weld and body glue it down there but I can do it and re-glue it after the one spot there what I'm going to do is I'm going to dress up this corner first because like, as you can see it's all bent round and this floor is all bent up as well so I need to get it I need to get it nice and straight before I start putting the new panel on and definitely needed need them, them post support because as you can see if I stand down the back here gently carefully this whole cap now is support this obviously weight all the weight of the cap on the back is all on them two points but it's, it's flat floor so if I didn't put them posts in that floor will just go like that definitely it will sag because there's not strength it's only flat so there's not strength in there so I put them posts in which I made uh, for the previous job what I did yeah and just have to prepare the new panel repair this corner and that floor and start putting it in so let's do it right guys I've got this black hook tower set up here with the perfect angle I could just pull it little bit more but that's pretty much perfect changed to the floor that's what we just got frame that's what how we've got this frame for and I'm just gonna apply some tension and we we'll see how it goes because that corner there is pretty much folded and I need to pull that before I start doing any more I've already done the floor there that's that wasn't a problem at all but now we're gonna pull this we we'll see how it goes so I already put the uh, uh, supporting pot of power just to push it, holding it so I don't pull the cap back because if I didn't have any support I would just drag the cap back but which I don't want I might apply some heat on the back here with the gas torch just to soften because it's it's pretty pretty hard but as you can see there's a creases everywhere there and there but that's way in so I need to pull this out square it all up and we go from there so let's do it.
Alright guys, all this corner is repaired. You saw me pull it and I actually cut this section out a, a bit and straighten it and put it back in so it's pretty much how it should be because it was very crumbled and damaged. And I've got this panel here already, already put some holes in it and sand it all off so it's pretty much ready to go on. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to put locate this panel, try to put it in this hole there. We'll see how it fits and hopefully it fits all right and we're gonna start welding. So let's do it. Right guys, actually next day here, as you can see the panel is in. Uh, yesterday I put this panel on, welded it all round and stopped it all up and primed all the welds. And obviously this corner bit is all repaired and primed. It. And I'll show you quickly inside. It was a three man job to put this panel in because as you can see here, this panel is actually wider then the opening and then the hole. The hole is probably up to here. So it was a bit bit of a prying and trying to force it in, but it's all in and I even sealed it last night. I'm just gonna apply this like a stone chip kind of stuff there. With sim sealer, sprayable sim sealer then so it looks OEM. Then we get this thing painted. So let's do it. Right guys, we're all done on this one. It's all painted, pulled back together. Scott actually put it back together. Jamie painted the back. Because Scott stripped it all inside and outside. It's all done. And as you can see, pretty much as it should be, ready for probably smashed up again, no doubt. So thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.